All right, guys, this is Paul Spooner. I'm doing a tour of my third base. This is a base I started uh, shortly after I did the fourth base video. Uh, it wasn't that shortly after. It was, uh, well, just after Update 5. So Update 5 came out, and they came out with the soft hard clearance and zooping and train collisions. And so I played a bit in my second base, um, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to start over because zooping makes a huge difference in base construction. So let's just go through all these. All right, so making a good start here. And uh, I never moved these these storage units. Uh, you, will, you will recognize this location going forward. I did move the, the hub, but... Uh, and like that, <laughs> that generator maybe always stayed there. Uh, I always had my my copper coming over here so uh so this is just a, a start of the base i started in the forest because i wanted to be kind of close to oh, let's see why did i start in the forest i don't know i don't know why i started in the forest but uh i was building on the grid and that was pretty cool it doesn't quite line up all the time but it was it was neat to have uh some consistency in how things lined up so uh just the basic the basic stuff basic kind of construction-y things. Um, yeah. So that's the beginning of my base. That's where it started off. Uh, the reason I was doing this... Yeah, thanks, Ada. The That thing is bugged. I don't know what happened. I think in one of the updates they added a thing, but it was, wasn't in the map, so it just like bugs me all the time. Or maybe it's underneath those? I don't know. Anyway, the uh, the thing that I was trying to do with this is not build construction stuff off-site. I wanted all my stuff to be in one base so that I didn't have to run all over creation to change the way things were set up. And so I stuck almost perfectly to that. Uh, I was also experimenting with zooping, because that was new. And I didn't end up doing a lot of trains, but I, I built... Uh, all the train systems with train collisions in mind because this was, as I said, after update 5. So, let's go forward a bit. Uh, I don't know if we really need to look at all of these. Progress, tier 5, tier 7, tier 8. Okay, so let's look at tier 8 before the warehouse. So I had been building a bit of, of walls and things. This is you know, basically the end game. So I've got my copper production, a bunch more copper stuff. Do I have that? I have the hopper pack now. I don't need to run. Uh, some more wire. Some of my stators and things. Uh, yeah. So it's all here. There's my oil stuff over there. There's one train station with, I think that's bauxite coming in. Uh, we can go look at the at the aluminum production, I guess. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I've got the aluminum all balanced out so that the excess, uh, whatever this is, solution, alumina solution, gets used up exactly in battery production and then I'm just sinking the batteries. So any batteries that I don't use in my drone bay, uh, I sink them. So nothing backs up. And then if any of the aluminum is too much, we sink that. And if there's ever too much silica coming down from the, whatever these are, the uh, refineries that are producing the alumina solution, then uh, we sink that too. So I've got it set up, so it never backs up, never goes wrong. These factories are all running normal fuel, but I think I converted them to turbo fuel later. So we'll see that in a bit. But from this, uh, this is still pre-update 6. So they didn't have all those cosmetics. They didn't have uh, any, of the, any of the stuff. But I did, from here, enclose my whole factory. Because I had all my factory in one place, so why not turn it all into a big building? So that is this. Couldn't enclose 
everything exactly, but I did enclose pretty much of it. Uh, oh, can I not go out that hole in the ceiling? There we go. So there we go. All under one giant roof. Except for those refineries, but who cares about the refineries? And then that's where the drone comes in. So uh, that's my whole base. It's all enclosed. And I was like, all right, good. I beat the game again. Having a good time. It's fun. Uh, but then Update 6 came out. And of course, Update 6, world update, a lot of weapon updates. So of course I had to build some nukes. And uh, those are great fun. Graphics are still a little bit underwhelming, but it's okay. And smart ammo. I love me some smart ammo. It's good stuff. Uh, base remained pretty much the same. I added a little bit over here, I think, for the uranium processing. And I broke my rule of not building stuff on site and built a uranium plant over here. Uh, you don't need to see that. It's just it's just a little a little port. So I ran conveyor belts up from underneath, and then uh, some some lines over from here and here uh, for limestone and sulfur, and just did a, a single line of, of uranium processing so I could get the fuel cells that I needed to make the nuclear noblisks. So that was the update six for me. It wasn't a huge update. Uh, did I do the oil here? They had updated the Spire Coast, but I didn't do anything with it. I explored it a little bit. You can see there's there's some exploration going on. But then update seven came out, and I had to play with update seven because templates are so cool. And templates really do fundamentally change the way that I think about base building because it reduces a huge amount of the busy work uh, of the mental overhead in in designing a factory and makes it so that it really is practical to to do production lines of from scratch materials so you don't do any any processing you just got ores coming in and then all the the processing gets done uh, in the production line so this is a little little base template I built it's kind of a fun <laughs> a kind of a fun little uh, little base thing template it, one of the first templates I made I was like huh I'm always putting down like storage containers and craft benches and equipment workshops and maybe I could just slap that down all over the place in one big unit uh, it's not particularly practical but it was kind of fun to to play with so another thing I did was I made a storage building that's just full of of these energy storage units and that was great fun because now see these are all full right yeah these are all full because now I've got how much 16.4 gigawatt hours of storage which is great. Uh, not just in this building. Each building does, I think, 400 megawatt hours, or or a thousand. I forget. I forget exactly what it does. Oh, I could probably check my blueprint. My blueprint probably says. Let's see. General structures. 30 battery shack. Three gigawatt hours. So each one does three gigawatt hours of, of power storage. And I can't build one right now because it uses so much wire and so much other stuff. Here we go. Let's hop on this guy. Hitch a ride back to base. So here we are. The good old base again. And you can see I have expanded again. So there's the original shack base thing. 
Uh, another building that I made, I kind of made this building template and then use it for a few things. Although this is not an efficient use of space. But anyway, I put three constructors in there and made a concrete factory out of it. So I've got a bunch of concrete factories now slapping down all kinds of templates everywhere. This whole base is metastasizing with templates. I've got my refinery template, got some advanced unit templates. Uh, so these are, yeah, these are the control rods. And I'm using signs. Signs are new since update five, I think, or update six. Maybe it was update six. Anyway, signs are new. And with the templates, it's great because I can really easily annotate stuff and show what comes in, what goes out, and how you how you manage to get all that working. So that's great. Um, what else? What else is great? I've got this triple decker. Or no, it's a double decker plus factory. I think these are. No. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a lot of. It's a lot of consumption. There we go. Modular frames. So each unit here, you can see there's one, two, three units, and each one is producing modular frames from, again, from basic ingots. So it's just iron ingots come in, that's all you pump into this thing, and out come modular frames. So good. So good. So many modular frames. So yeah, templates like totally change the way that I played this game. Uh, they also came out right before Christmas, and so, or Fixmas, and so I did uh, an, a whole hog Fixmas thing here, so I've got all this stuff producing producing gold stars, or whatever these are. Yeah, the Fixmas wonder stars. And that's great. Um, templates for refineries, so you can manifold them all together. Uh, you can't do templates for power coal power or, or uh, solid fuel power plants yet, but maybe someday. What are the templates was I using? Oh, well, so here's like my, my crazy, I figured, hey, may as well use these templates and create a sync chain. So I am producing, is it two assembly director systems per minute? I think that's right. Yeah, so 0.5 times four is two. And so those are all getting stuff from these chains. I've got four of these and like, I think six of these, or maybe five of those, all feeding into these guys. I've got these guys producing the, uh, whatever this is, adaptive control unit. And so I've got two sets of those. Again, these are manifolded together. So, so these are a, a basic building block that I, that I use for assemblers, or for manufacturers, excuse me. And the manufacturers just, you can set them up to do whatever you want and uh, pump in whatever you need. And it makes the job go so much faster when you're expanding production or trying to build uh, a lot of something. And then these are all the automated wiring because you need so much automated wiring. So there's just, I forget, I think eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, 12. 12 uh, automated wiring stations and these don't go exactly from raw materials they they use the the steel pipe instead uh, just because I had a bunch of steel pipe production to begin with although I did expand my steel pipe production too so this is kind of playing with templates and seeing how they work and seeing what I can do with them and uh, I'm I'm in the planning phase now of doing a, that's where my, that's where my template maker used to be. I'm in the planning phase now of doing a, a new base, fourth base, I'm going to call it satisfactory home run or something. And that will be, uh, that will be all with templates, all with planned out expandable systems. Um, I'm planning on streaming the whole thing. I'll see if I can pull that off. 
like to do that just so it's all all documented and I want to do a uh, sushi belt sushi belt system for because there's really two types of, of units there's there's production production parts that you want to have a lot of uh, like the assembly director system and but you don't want to balance your superconductor lines or whatever for for production of the assembly director system you want to build those purpose built that just serve that so that everything is balanced out and it all runs smoothly and then you've got your parts that you use as the player for building stuff or fixing things or whatever it is and for that you don't actually need all this so i i in all these bases i've tried to separate out all this production so i've got i think my starting with my second base i did this kind of system where i had all the parts and they're all separated out nicely and they all have their own container and they're all you know nice but i never pull stuff out of these you can see none of them are hooked up so they don't actually have to be sorted out. They, they could be mixed together. I could have one box that's just got like the tier one parts in it and a box that's got tier two parts. And then it would make finding stuff way easier. It would make uh, this whole process of, of putting parts into it way easier because then I could just use a sushi belt system where all the... So that's what I'm planning on doing for my next base. For, for home run, base, or whatever it's going to be called. Got to workshop the name a bit. I'm gonna. I'm planning on doing a very organized. No more of this nonsense. I mean, this is a little bit more organized than I normally am. Uh, I try to keep the belts at least a semblance of orderliness. When you get down into the old stuff, where I was, it gets a little messy, especially coming into the, all these. But um, but it's not. It's not too bad. You know, this is not really that bad all this stuff is kind of organized these i built before there were templates and man it it's such a pain to like place down all these merges and all the things all the right place and set them all up it is so so much nicer to build a template and then just slap down however many you need so i am really looking forward to playing from get-go with templates uh, or at least from whatever tier four whenever they start to take off but then building the base with templates in mind so that I can easily expand production and um, trying to decide if I want to use trains at all or if I just want to use vehicles because the vehicles are so much easier to expand now now that you can load and transfer uh, the paths so you can just increase the the bandwidth of your truck station by adding another truck and they use so little fuel and uh, they use so little power so like the draw of trains is that they carry a whole bunch of stuff but I don't know if I need that much stuff and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see I, I haven't I haven't decided yet but I might go a no trains a no trains build so anyway that is third factory how it ended up uh, all this stuff on top pretty much all this stuff oh i'm also doing cathode or whatever this is uh, circuit boards petroleum coke so that's what a bunch of these are it's just building circuit boards uh so all the stuff on top like i said all the stuff on top is is stuff that i built with templates and i was just kind of playing around with them you know so i just i made some big old slabs of things to put them on but um next base i'm planning on making it much more organized and uh should be able to make that all work uh, let's see one last thing I guess to, to close it out uh, with the template system I made these stackable uh, stackable enclosures and I really like the look of this because you can slap them down around a tree and it's like hey it's a terrarium it's this giant old terrarium and it just has a very lovely well it's a walled garden it's paradise a paradisal feel so this is this is very nice i like having these around if i find a nice uh a nice setting or a nice tree or you know a little uh a little view or something build a, a little walled garden around it so those have been fun
I like the the curved wall curved wall units that it makes it feel much more organic homey something like that um, let's look at the bait or the map too while we're at it so I love that you can now see the location of all these things when you've got a radar tower up that makes it so much there's so much more reason to put up radar towers now and it makes it so much easier to plan out production just being able to see all this stuff on the map because otherwise you just go to satisfactorycalculator.com anyway uh so this way you can just you can just not and and you know view the map in game so that is really nice and it also tells you which ones are claimed it's so good so good so anyway i claimed a couple of oil things over here just to get more oil because i was running out of oil and uh using trains a bit to get stuff from off-site i had a a truck over here and so i built another truck but the path wasn't designed for multiple trucks running on it because it didn't have path loading before so that's something else that i'm i'm planning on doing in base number four when I get around to, to starting that up. So if you have anything you'd like to see me do in base four, uh, maybe there's some sort of approach that you'd like to see tried or something like that, uh, leave a comment and I'll be happy to, to consider it. I won't promise that I'll actually do it, but I'll consider it. And why do I have this claimed? Oh, oh, I claimed the uranium. I went around and claimed all the uranium spots and then just sunk them directly into a grinder uh it's kind of silly but that's that's fine let's build a cement factory over here i think i've got some more of those little terrariums over in this this area but i didn't explore at all down here in the grasslands and uh didn't really exploit anything over here in the in the rocky desert area either it's mostly just right right around my base you don't really need that much of the map I didn't do anything over here. I think I got hard drives and stuff and put down some, you know, some radar towers, but no real uh no real resource gathering over here. There's a lot of iron. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh oh, there's another there's another tower thing. Templates again. Oh, let's go look at the I made a a factory cart ramp thing. Is it still over here? I might have I might have torn it down. I think it's still over here though. Looks like it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was playing with the factory cart. I was trying to see if I could I could consistently do uh, the death whatever it is the death wall or the, the where you spin around on drive around on the inside of a circle. And it's too small for any of the vehicles except for the factory cart. Do I have one in my inventory? Doesn't look like I do. Um, but I could, with the factory cart, I could get in and I could start driving around in circles, but for whatever reason, the camera, the way that the camera and the steering works, uh, the factory cart would generally lose control and, and spin out and then fall again. But I did a couple of times drive all the way up the inside and, uh, and land out on top, which is sweet. They don't have, um curved introduction pieces or at least they didn't when i when i checked i don't think they yeah i don't think they do so they've got the ramps at the bottom but they don't have uh, ramps bending over on top if you know what i mean like like this but the inside of of this and flipped upside down so like if this was upside down inside out and that would be nice to be able to to kind of drive into one of these things because uh, currently it's basically impossible to drive into it and then drive back out because there's a hard edge there anyway that would be kind of nice to have if uh if anybody's watching from coffee stain thanks for making such a great game by the way this is this is really fun all right fourth base coming up coming up next